items are the entire point of the game. Teaching me to play League is a good investment of your time. <laughs> In fact, I'd say it's the worst, one of the worst investments of your time. I see it's clever because everyone is in one lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You died. Yes. The dying is basically inevitable in this game mode because you can't recall and you can't buy items and once you leave the base until you die. Oh, do you just rejoin instantly? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the point of this. This is for a four fun game where you just do constant fighting without the what is it? Complicated structure of a normal game. I guess it's more fun if you suck because then you can come back instantly and be active instead of waiting for people to play when you're dead. Yeah. And death timers are also a corner. <laughs> and usually people are more chill here too. Time. Because in normal League of Legends, it's, you're kind of on your own, so, but if a teammate is bad, you can have a very negative experience of your own because someone made a someone else made a mistake in your lane. Mm. But in this, it's, it's just constant 5v5 fighting without any individual lane, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. But there's always exceptions. People like to be miserable anywhere. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I'd still rather play Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think they have Tekken on the Switch. I, I, I don't think they do, but... My soul is 
It's on the PC, right? <laughs> yeah, I think Tekka might be a lot easier to teach anyway. a mechanic in Tekken where you can fall up with a platform and instantly die. No, that's so. only like those only really just like Soul Calibur or something. Made by the same company though. Well, it does exist in Super Smash Bros. So oh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But good to know that it also exists in Soul Calibur. Yeah. Honestly, fighting games are mostly dead, except for Street Fighter and Tekken, really. Hmm. It has such a lower player base. There's a few communities that pop up for fighting games. Maybe Guilty Gear? King of Fighters is definitely dead, I don't think they're getting another game. Mm. Like, it's probably dead now, but I feel like Skullgirls had players. Oh yeah, back in the day, yeah. but I'm pretty sure people got upset that, with that game and I haven't talked- I haven't seen it talked about since. Oh, I, I thought it kind of just died because it got old. <laughs> So people got mad about it? Yeah, I think there was some drama back in the day. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong. Know. I actually feel that Guilty Gear is very intuitive. I actually, okay. actually never played Guilty Gear, so I don't know. Have you played it? I think you said you played like two games, right? Yeah, but I felt like it made a lot of sense. I think Tekken also has a, what is it, easy mode. So I can, you can, you, you only, basically only need to play like, press like one button over and over again. Oh, well, I mean, with the full controls, it's just, you play a game and you're like, you feel like you know what you're doing. Even if you don't, but you feel like you do. Well, you can try the bomb fusel game. <laughs> that seems fun. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a good <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw, but I did like 80% of all four of their health bars. I believe this is what they call a skill issue. <laughs>
No! Also, there's like a million items, so I guess that might be also hard to learn. I don't have much confidence in a game where you're saying... Even if you were a genius, you would suck for the first hundred hours you play. Oh, that is so bullshit. For some reason, they thought it would be a good idea to revive all your teammates when you kill someone who killed your teammates. I feel like that's more balanced in the other game mode. Yeah. Except for in this game mode where everybody's always fighting in multiple. People killing multiple people is very common. Uh, I'm going to move my thing to the dryer now. Okay. Shut 